Hello everyone and welcome back friends. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a few things that I love to do around my home to really, really keep my mental and physical health in check. Now a huge part of getting my day off on the right foot is making myself a really good breakfast. And a few of in the comments have expressed that you wanted me to share a little bit more cooking in my videos. So I thought why not go ahead and turn the camera on and share with you guys what I am mixing up for breakfast this morning before I dive into my house chores. I am just doing a couple of eggs in a skillet and then a little bit of spinach and arugula, some cherry tomatoes, cheese, and mushrooms. And this took me just a few minutes to whip up and it was very healthy and got me going for the day. Of course, I did have a little bit of coffee this morning, but with this meal, I'm gonna enjoy some orange juice. I have been trying to be way more mindful about what I'm putting in my body, drinking more water, trying to stay hydrated, and trying to eat a little bit more healthy while still being able to enjoy myself. But not only just food, but also exercise. I've shared with you guys I'm on like this new little fitness journey. Um, I've been doing it for about six months now and I'm really starting to see a difference. But of course, mental health is always a huge part of your health as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be partnering with BetterHelp, which I will share with you guys a little bit more about them in just a couple of minutes. But um, I am just really, really happy with where I'm at with my mental health. And I feel like keeping a tidy home helps a ton with my stress and anxiety. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments too, if just clutter and chaos really spikes your stress and anxiety as well. But um, I'm gonna be kind of going through my home and cleaning up and tidying up my space in the home. We're gonna tackle my bedroom and my bathroom because I feel like that is my sanctuary where I can step away and control the mess the most. Um, but let's go ahead and dive right in. I would like to thank BetterHelp, the world's largest therapy service that's 100% online for sponsoring today's video. With BetterHelp, you can tap into the world's largest network of licensed, accredited, and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues, including depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, grief, and so much more. With their online therapist, you can get the same professionalism and quality you would expect from an in-office therapist, but with the ability to communicate when and how you want. After a really easy sign up process, BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that can help you with your preferences, objectives, and any issues that you need help dealing with. Different therapists have different approaches and areas of focus, so it's important to find the right person who can achieve your best results for you. But BetterHelp has found that they're able to provide a successful match most of the time. However, if for some reason you start a process with a therapist and you feel that they aren't a good fit for you, you can elect to be matched with somebody else. There are multiple options that you can get in touch with your therapist, just to name a few. You could do a live phone call, you could do a live chat, and even a live video. So you can pick which one suits you best and what you're comfortable with. If you are interested in checking out BetterHelp for yourself, I will have a link just below in the description box for you. Click on it, check it out, scroll around, see if BetterHelp will be a good fit for you. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's video.
As you can see, my bathroom and bedroom is not a calming space at all. It is not an area in my home that I wanna come in and hang out and relax and just kinda of decompress for the day. But I'm gonna change that in today's video. I'm going to pretty much deep clean this bathroom top to bottom, and then we're gonna go into my bedroom and do the same thing. So comment below and let me know what area in your home gets neglected the most. Mine is definitely my bedroom and bathroom because no one ever sees it. So I put a lot more of my time and energy into my main spaces of the home where we spend more time as a family and entertain. But I'm so sick of this bathroom looking the way that it does and just having laundry piled up in my room that I cannot wait to get it clean. And I'm just so excited to actually spend time in here later today and maybe enjoy a show or a movie. Starting with the mirror, I'm using my favorite glass cleaner called Spray Away, and usually I love the mix of a paper towel, but I didn't have any up here, so I'm just using my microfiber cloth. It still did the job, but I just don't like how lint gets left behind when you use cloth on mirrors, so I do prefer a paper towel, at least just for cleaning my mirrors. And then I pretty much use microfiber cloths and scrubbing sponges for the rest of the space. And then here on my sinks, I'm using the anti-back and then this usually have to leave um, sitting for a few minutes. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes, let that do its thing. And I'm finally coming in with my gloves. I've been dying to use these. and I'm trying to get into the better habit of using them. I usually just think that using my bare hands is best because I can scrub them clean and I feel like gloves can harbor germs and bacteria but I know that it's really, really bad for your skin. So I'm trying to get into the habit of using gloves. I also almost always have a window open and run the bathroom fan also while I'm using cleaners in the bathroom because I just don't wanna be breathing in all those chemicals. Using these disinfectant wipes here on the bathroom counter, I love using these in bathrooms. These are my go-to. I usually keep one in every bathroom of the house. They're just so easy to grab and go. And then you can just toss the cloth when you're done. You don't have to worry about washing anything or storing any towels. Um, but you guys will see here on this rag how dirty it was. Um, I get ready pretty much every single day in here. And so there's a lot of makeup buildup on the cabinet and the counters. So these wipes did an amazing job. I also wanted to share with you all that I have had the itch to come in here and give my bathroom a nice little refresh for so long. Now I'm thinking when I get home from Hawaii, it'll be the perfect time to tackle this bathroom. I've been doing a little bit of research on painting these cabinets myself and then adding hardware. I think I'm gonna do like a really pretty putty color on these cabinets with champagne colored hardware and then swapping out these faucets faucets to also a champagne color to match the hardware and then i would love to do a bathroom tile paint and paint the countertops white and just leave them white and then we can take down the mirrors and i can put up a more fancy custom style mirror and then swap out the light fixtures maybe spruce it up with some very simple decor and then call it a day um, at least until we can get to the point where we fully demo in here and we've just been doing so many house projects um, we just need a break so it's going to be a little while before we can come in and fully gut this bathroom so i figured for now i can just design it on a dime
I used to have a very tall, narrow shelving unit here in this space in my bathroom, but it just didn't close off and just put away stuff. It was all open shelving and I just didn't like how everything was exposed. It made the bathroom look messy. So I ended up relocating that shelving unit into my son's room and then um, on Amazon in my car, I actually have another piece that I think will fit here. I just have to get my husband to come in here and measure and make sure that it'll work. Um, but it's about counter height. It's white. It's got cabinet doors on it where I can put my makeup and the things that were just on the floor here that need to be put away and they just won't be such an eyesore. So I just want everything to have a place and just look nice, not necessarily need to come in here and spend a ton of money, but I just want everything to be functional uh, first and foremost. My house gets so dusty. So usually before I do any spray of any sort, I take a cloth and do a dry dusting. That way it just doesn't mud up the space. So that's what I did with the cloth. I did a quick dry dusting and then I sprayed the anti back and I let that sit for a few minutes. And now I'm just taking my favorite little scrubby sponges that I pick up in a multi-pack from the Dollar Tree. I keep these in every bathroom and I can just toss them when I'm done. I think they come like six for a dollar um, at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just using one of these little sponges and I'm scrubbing down my bath, my bathtub super well. Now I don't use this. I couldn't even tell you the last time I used this bathtub because we do have a pool in our backyard with a spa. So if we wanna soak or anything like that, we usually just use that. So we fully have plans to rip out this tub and shower and just do a huge walk-in shower. We'll see if I end up putting like a freestanding tub back in here just for resale sake, but we honestly do not use this tub since putting in our pool and spa. It was great before we put the pool in, but now it's just kind of wasted space in here. My bathroom was so behind on a nice deep cleaning, so I'm hitting all the light switches, all of the doorknobs, and even dusting the baseboards. And then here in the actual toilet room, it's like its own separate area, I had this um, disinfectant wipe, so I just started getting down on my hands and knees and even scrubbing the floor in here because I just wanted to know that everything got touched, every surface, we're even going to um, dust the blinds here in just a second when I was scrubbing the bathtub I saw that there was a nice layer of dust on those otherwise I would have dusted these first but I was already well into scrubbing the tub um, I'm also going to start cleaning my shower for the sake of this video but um, you guys never really see me clean it here on my channel because it's just easier for me to clean it while I'm in there um, I hate being in there and dealing with water in the shower when I have clothes on. It just freaks me out. I don't like the feeling of it. 
So I'm going to do some scrubbing here while we're in here, but um, I do end up actually scrubbing the shower later that evening when I go um, just to shower. It's just so much easier that way. You guys will have to let me know, I'm curious, do you guys also clean your shower while you're in it or do you clean it like I'm doing here? That picture perfect sky now and looks so great cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Mm. Silent treatment is this word. I should probably add the other item on my to-do list in this bathroom is to replace the shower head. The magnet must have went bad on it because it won't hold the shower head up anymore. And then some of the setting buttons on the actual handheld portion stopped working as well. So that is another thing that needs to be replaced in here. The bathroom is scrubbed clean and it feels so much better in there. It has just been on my mind to be doing that for days. So I'm so happy I chose to just tackle that and now I'll have a clean bathroom. Now I just have to make sure that I actually stay on it and maintain it. And then um, I'm going to actually, again, scrub that shower really, really good um, that evening and then we'll be in really, really good shape. So that way in the next like, couple weeks, I can go in there and start painting and decorating and it's just gonna look so much nicer in there. So we're now in the main bedroom and I'm making my bed for the day. Um, I say this all the time, I cannot stress it enough, getting ready for the day, making your bed and eating a really healthy breakfast is such a great way to get you motivated and going for the day. If it's over, we've been laying his for a I cleared off my nightstand with the exception of just a few things. I love to keep a hand lotion and a body spray right on my nightstand where it's handy. I also love keeping this linen spray on hand so I can easily grab it and then I can spray my pillows and my linens after I'm done making my bed. And then um, I have my little prayer book here and then I have the charger for my Apple watch. But other than that, everything else can go put away. The next eyesore in my bedroom I really need to work on is this pile of laundry. I have been trying to keep up on laundry to where I just got overwhelmed with clean laundry everywhere. And I've been staying up to date on getting the boys stuff put away and washing sheets and getting beds made that this pile here has been now sitting here for a couple of days. And I wanted to come in here and finish the job and just 
you know, make my bedroom a place that is calming and not overwhelming. And to see a laundry basket in here or a pile of clothes is not calming whatsoever. So I'm gonna take the 10 or 15 minutes, sort it out, fold it, and then I'm even gonna go ahead and bust down my hangers and get everything hung and put away. Don't wanna be trapped, don't wanna be down. Looking for a new star. This other laundry basket, there were a few of the boys' items. Sometimes they come in here and want to jump in our shower or use our bathtub, and so they'll end up just throwing some of their clothes in our laundry basket. So I'm going to put their stuff in this other basket and go put it in, over in their bedroom so they can handle putting this away. There were also some clean towels that I needed to sort and put away, but I wanted to really focus on this bedroom before I walked out and started on anything else because I know before I know it, um, I would start cleaning another space or doing another task and then my bedroom would never get finished. I also wanted to add this small pile of clothes here are some clothing items that I picked up for our Hawaii trip. We're actually going to Maui here pretty soon so I need to start trying things on and planning out what I'm going to be packing. That way I can stay within my 50 pound limit for the flight. Um, I also have a bunch of bathing suits here, so that's kind of what that pile is, and I'm actually also going to work on that tonight, um, so there's really not much I can do with that pile for right now. Vacuuming was the last thing on my list in here. It feels so much lighter and like a space that I actually want to spend time in. Um, I know that the bathroom's clean, it smells nice. I love lighting a candle after I clean just to put the finishing touch and just make it extra special. So I cannot wait to spend some time in here and just kind of wind down. I actually cleaned for a couple hours in here. But um, I also wanted to remind you guys to check out the link down below for better help. And just remember, you need to look out for yourself and take care of your mental health, your physical health. Um, and that way you can take care of your family and your loved ones around you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I hope that you will hit that like button and subscribe before you leave today. And other than that, friends, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You're